Hi traders, thanks for stopping by thetradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at several charts here and I'm going to go over my analysis and thought process and the idea here is for you to come away from this video with some extra knowledge on technical analysis as well as some profitable trade ideas here on these individual stocks. But first, if you're not already a member, go ahead and visit us on the homepage and get to know us a little bit better. If you like the free videos and the free analysis we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing compared to the membership at thetradinganalyst.com. Once you sign up, you're going to be able to take part in the professional chat room, the daily watch list, the real-time profitable trade alerts, which are not only given in the chat room, but also via text message and email for those of you that can't be in the chat room all day long totally understandable you're not going to be able to miss those alerts because we give them to you via text and email you're also going to get the exclusive member videos the webinars plus an education from mentors like myself who truly care about your success in the market it's a great opportunity we'd love to have you all right so let's get going with these charts the first one we want to take a look at is Apple and Apple, as we've been mentioning, downside is likely, and that's exactly what we got off of these earnings here. We hit our target right here at about 118, and we took profits from our long that we got down here. Very nice trade here for our members, and we've been calling for lower prices since we broke this little mini trend line here and couldn't break over this resistance. That's exactly what we got off of those earnings and as you can see we bounced here off of the lows and we believe that Apple will continue to the downside it may want to retest a little bit higher maybe up into the 117s maybe even retest the 118.50 mark again but eventually it's going to retest those areas and then head lower down to this trend line this is a support level from these previous highs and then we also have this uptrend line right here. So I believe that uh, Apple is going to be heading lower still um, and retest at least 112 uh, before potentially uh, getting a bounce. The next one we're going to take a look at is Tesla. And Tesla had a positive reaction to earnings right now in the after hours. It closed at about 211 is where it's at right now this is the 15 minute chart right here and it's not yet reflected um, on the daily chart so it's right around 211 so it's over this trend line but it's not yet over these highs over here so really I wanted to see it uh, break above uh, 215 uh, 216 in order for this to really get a real bullish move as long as we're below that level and below the 200 day moving average uh, we're probably going to head lower here so look for that to happen tomorrow um, either a break over this uh, trend line and the 200 day and this 216 mark um, but if it doesn't really break over that we're going to be heading lower here it had its opportunity on this earnings uh, to do so so just be aware of, of kind of the levels on the chart and you should do just fine the next one we're going to take a look at is Netflix and Netflix is coming up to this resistance it's hit it several times about 129 to 130 it was these previous highs in August of 2015 and then December of 2015 and then look at where we got rejected at for the past several days right here definitely an area to be considering taking some profits on some longs uh, we are at a very key level here on Netflix we'll see if it can break over um, but definitely an area that you want to be aware of here on the Netflix chart because it is very key the next one we're going to take a look at is Coors and Michael Coors K-O-R-S and I do think that this one looks like it's headed down as well I'll zoom out here We've got these downtrend lines. I'll show you the weekly chart here. So we are in a downtrend. Several touches here on this one, here, there, 
and then this downtrend line right here you can see that all meeting up in the same spot and then we broke this little mini uptrend here there's a touch several touches there's a touch we broke it right here and then you can see we came up and got rejected at both of those retests right there so I'm looking for cores to be heading lower here we're also below the 200 day moving average so that's going to act as resistance as well more than likely we're going to at least test these lows right here more than likely fill this gap down here at about 42 uh, 50 right there so look for that on cores if we end up breaking over and holding over 51 that's going to be a bullish breakout here for cores but until it does that we've got major resistance above and we're below this trend line so definitely look like uh, we're going to be continuing to the downside the next one we're going to look at is oops not uh, CMG but uh, General Motors here and General Motors you can see that uh, we have a false breakout yesterday I'm sorry not yesterday two days ago before the earnings announcement and then we had the reaction to earnings here broke below the lows of that breakout candle right there and you can see we made another lower low and lower high right here I believe this trend will continue and that we will eventually break this 200 day moving average and head lower potentially to these lows down here at about 2750 this should not be uh, understated right here right here we broke out to the upside it looked like a breakout but it ended up breaking down to the downside there's a saying that goes false moves lead to swift moves in the opposite direction so this is the false move up and we're gonna see a swift move in the opposite direction that's usually what happens not a 100 percent but that's what happens most of the time the next one we're going to take a look at is Boeing Boeing I have been posting these bullish charts here on social media so congrats if you've been following along with those charts very very nice breakout here for Boeing this is going to be support now uh, right here about 137 is going to be that support and then the resistance we're going to have I'll draw this for you right up here at about 149 right here you can see look how many times we got knocked into that resistance right there if you scroll back over here right there right there as well so the resistance is not that far away it's definitely an area that you want to be aware of but if we retest lower before higher definitely looks like we can get a bounce from that level so you need to be aware of these two levels 149 137 and you should do just fine here on this Boeing trade thanks for stopping by appreciate it as always again if you're not already a member visit us on the home page get to know us a little bit better if you like the free videos we give to you on a daily basis it's nothing compared to the membership at the trading analyst.com and if you scroll down a little bit further you can see what the current members are saying about the membership the best part is once you sign up you're going to be able to get those profitable trade alerts that we give to our members on a regular basis it's a great opportunity we'd love to have you